What's up, Manga Knights? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Last time, we found out the identity of the elusive Alibaba. He is actually a she. She's Futaba Sakura herself. Which begs the question, why is she having us change her heart? Well, it could have something to do with the fact that her mother committed suicide right in front of her eyes as a child. Which is really hard-hitting. And Morgana's gone on top of that. I mean, look, he'd, re he'd usually sit right here, but now, nothing. We can't even leave. We can't do freaking anything in here. Which means, all we have to do is just wait for the cat. Hey, speak of the devil. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? Oh, come on. You're a capable cat. I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Yeah, that... Wait, how do you know that? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Wait... Young? Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair too. That's an interesting description. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats too. Huh. That's surprisingly impressive actually. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Hmm. Futaba Sakura. Just who exactly are you? In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Yeah, I absolutely hate the heat. It's so irritating. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. Alright, I'll do that right away. But, something I hate more than the heat, is being interrupted while I'm telling a story. What do you want, Nijima? You keep cutting me off, woman! Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? <laughs> what? Are you seriously surprised? That should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. <laughs> Seems those ears of yours aren't just for show after all. <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjid since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. <laughs> it seems Sainijima is finally starting to seriously listen to what I'm saying. And that has us continuing judgment. I'm still not entirely sure about all this, but I'm gonna keep doing things as I have been and just hope for the best. All right. There aren't any judgment ranked persona or judgment arcana personas that I know of other than the devil still to think the phantom thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter <laughs> what a coincidence no perhaps it's fate regardless we don't have time to waste continue with your story <laughs> that I will Thank you. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Don't even get me started. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Yeah, something a bit more snazzy than that. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then... I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? Okay, you know what? I gotta, st I gotta, I gotta stop you right there on Use the Sea! I have no idea. It's 
just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. And no one listens to me, but yeah, sounds like she's pretty adamant about not leaving. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. So basically, if your desires become distorted in any way, it doesn't actually mean that you're evil. So you can have a palace and just be a general nice guy. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? Yeah, hearing voices and seeing her own mother. There's a chance those are related to some important memory she's holding. Or repressing. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? I, for one, want to see if I can help her. She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why is that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? I want to help her. I want to help her. So you know what I say? Let's freaking do it! All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Yeah, the actual distortion. Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? <laughs> Uh, I certainly hope so, kitty cat. That has to be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. It's only a matter of time. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Oh, come on. It's all just coincidence. I'm just lucky. Sure live up to my expectations. I can sense a firm resolve from Morgana. Giving us the next rank in the Magician. Four left until we get something very special. Morgana is not just your average confidant. One, Morgana is a party member which means that something special is going to happen when we reach rank 10. And two, <laughs> he is one of the mandatory, mandatory confidants that automatically gets ranked up as the story progresses. <sighs> it's, it, it's a whole thing, but with rank six, we now have ace tools. We can craft any type of infiltration tool we want now, which is All right. pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Jeez, I don't want to be as slow as a snail. <sighs> now the last.
last keyword. This is gonna be really hard. She's a shut in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? I'll try it. Perhaps the labyrinth with an unknown exit. Have not been met. Maybe an oasis? I think so far. In that case, how about hell? Jeez! Have not been met. Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. Well, we can't. Come on, let's go see Futaba. Are you nuts? But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Come on, dude. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, he's not gonna be back for quite some time, unless he hears something going on. We just have to make sure to be quiet. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Probably not physically, though. Very well. Let's do this. We'll give it a shot. Uh, yo! This is Futaba's room. I don't know why I tried doing that. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. This is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Ah, uh, there it is. Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. I'm just gonna ignore that C for now. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. You got it. What do you want to hear? How is living in this house to you? It's painful. Well, why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm gonna die here. Well, die? to continue. Why do you think you're going to die? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? I'll put it in. Try entering tomb. I'm already on it. Uh. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. Boys and girls, it's a hit. We got it. <laughs> Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And click. Don't steal my phone! You idiot! Don't activate it here! She might get sucked in! Oh, you absolute moron! I swear, one of these days for Yuji, I'm gonna clobber you over the head! What?! It's... Oh, I hate deserts. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Are our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. 
That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? I mean, hell, the entire reason why On found out, and even Yusuke, and... Oh, you moron! Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. The complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Well, to be fair, that was in the middle of a bustling city. This is a barren desert with no life. It's honestly kind of eerie. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh, yeah. There's something shiny. <sighs> well, where there's shiny, there's... Uh... A tomb in the desert. I see. That's just wonderful. Anyway, let's make our way there. In the sand? Makoto, you do realize you're wearing sandals, right? Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. Oh, thank God. I've been waiting for this. Thank God for Morgana! I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. Oh, thank you. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. I don't like the heat. It's so bad. Oh god. I can't even have the glasses on my face. It's stuffy. Yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, Ellen, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? at all the hell was that lukewarm air about that was the best i could do so quit your yapping for real you are so half-assed <sighs> what was that you want to fight punk can you two just shut it jeez shut up it's hot so don't make me more irritated <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Yeah. Reviving the dead. It's actually quite fascinating. The idea of reviving one from the dead. Pharaohs are buried with their wealthy possessions. It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. And he's in artist mode. Hey guys, can we go in already? I doubt a pyramid would have air conditioning. I'm gonna melt. Same here, but I doubt it's gonna be any better. Oh, well, we can't let that... Oh die. man. We can't let that get us down. Oh, so freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. You don't have to tell me twice, bro. Get me the fuck out of here. It seems... Futaba's palace. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within. What is your call, Joker? Shall we head 
inside. That's just telling me that there's something outside. But I'll check it later. Okay. Okay. We'll find more. We'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, let's head inside. Oh. Hey, at least it's. Whoa. Whoa. It's so nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. <laughs> Our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. What to... It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb, and it's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. This... I, I just gotta say, while we're right here, all of the, like... Every, all of the friggin' like holograms and shit going all across the pyramid walls. This is so cool. Well, anyway, this section of the tomb is segmented by a bunch of, well, jumping points. We have to just jump to get across, but... Oh, man. Oh, look at that up there! That's gonna be important for later. <laughs> What? It's a pyramid. <laughs> this is amazing. These stairs go pretty far. There's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Let's go. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. Huh. There! Someone's there! Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. You all right? Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. She's not even speaking to us. It's exactly like in reality. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. But Futaba herself let us in. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet, depending on the mood. Uh, that you're thinking of bipolar. <laughs> A Sundere... Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have time to explain this. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child, you killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? It's... berating. Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed it's her! It's not your fault! This is horrible. It's... <sighs> hey, what the hell is this? Don't come Don't near me! Don't stand there! Say something! Your fault! Murderer! That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. Whoa! My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Oh! Oh boy! We're close. We're a threat now! She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Oh boy! Hmm? This... again... You killed her! You're a plague murderer! Why don't you say something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I 
killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there and say something! It's your fault! No! Something help me! Damn it! What the hell? She just disappeared. This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... <laughs> what now? Why is this Indiana Jonesy on us? Why? Oh, I hate pyramids. I hate traps. Oh, we're safe. That was too close. Wait. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. But why don't we prepare a little more and then come back? My thoughts exactly. You're right. True. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. I hate pyramids, but I love pyramids! The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber-terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. It would have to be upstairs, though, wouldn't it? It's convenient, though. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? All right. You must take care not to be discovered by Boz. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. <sighs> we all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. I admire your tenacity and all that, but you're a fucking dumbass. You guys were looking too, am I right? <laughs> And actually, on you push the seats back on me. Right. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. <sighs> it ain't what I'm talking about. Well, at least it shows Yusuke wasn't paying attention. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. You couldn't. <laughs> it's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed. Am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Our hideout has been moved from the access way to LeBlanc. It's with a C, people! Not again! Medjed? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjed will definitely make a move. Uh, Alibaba! I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjed? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose.
suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us! Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then... Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why did this have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Renkun, as always, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. As... oh, hold on. What's going on? Hey, listen, this is horrible! The fan site is gone! I tried to access the URL, but it says that the page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has been completely dis- <laughs> Oh, do you think this is because of Medjet? No, it's, uh, uh... This is gonna be weird, but it's Alibaba. Huh? Who's Alibaba? Anyway, this has to be Medjet's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time until the cleanse. Uh, hold up, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What is that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh! Calm down, Mish. Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm gonna try and look into it a little more, though. See ya. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull I off. Didn't, I didn't think she'd pick the fan site! Jeez! Well. Oh, man, we've been through a lot. And I mean a lot. But, <laughs> despite all of my huffing and puffing about, oh, I hate pyramids, I love pyramids! Oh, they, they can either be full of wondrous treasure or death traps. <laughs> I love death traps! <laughs> oh, trust me. There's a reason why this is my favorite palace. <laughs> Next time in Persona 5 Royale, we steal Futaba's heart. Well, uh, we, st we start attempting to. <laughs>